Nigerian presidency has issued a statement on a recent revelation by Sahara Reporters founder Omoyele Shiwore on his meeting with the late Isa Funtua while he was in a DSS detention facility. Shiwore on Tuesday disclosed that he clashed with Funtua during a reconciliatory meeting which had Nduka Obaigbena, Vanguard publisher Sam Amuka and Gaba Shewu. Below is a statement sent to Politics Nigeria signed by Shewu. He said, let's get the fast straight on the meeting with Shewore in SSS detention. First, it is important to state that the meeting was not instructed by the government. Nobody sent anybody to go and negotiate, negotiate Shewore's freedom as he put it. The late Malam Ismaila on his own called me to ask that I broke her a meeting with him and two others with the SSS, which they agreed to. It is important that I state that it was the force of Malam Ismaila argument that made the meeting possible. Vanguard newspapers publisher Sam Amuka and this day publisher and president and president Nigeria Press Organization Unduka Obaigbena all agreed that Shore was a rascal who had used his newspaper to abuse all of us but agreed nonetheless to go and press for his release. As the late Ismail La put it, although he Shore got into his problems due politics, not journalism, the fact of him being a publisher imposed a duty on the media, on the media leaders to seek ways of making him free. The meeting ended well and contrary to the posturing by Shore, he said he was happy with a resolution proposed but that his lawyer, whoever that was, needed to come on board. The fence mending process apparently collapsed after the meeting of the trial with the lawyer in Lagos. I don't know what Shore wants to achieve by distorting the facts of what transpired, but my advice to him is that he should stop his attacks on the dead, well-meaning intercessor, knowing the way the secret service works. It should surprise no one if they keep a recording of the meeting faced with this posturing and the unfair attacks on the dead. We certainly will be forced to ask for the release of tapes in case they are available for the public to judge. Okay. I think uh, the truth is really coming out. Uh, you know, a lot of people never even believed whether they had a meeting with Shore in the first place. Because before you know it, they will say, oh, he made it up and all of that. But now that uh, she was, uh, Gaba Shewu is testifying that there was meeting, there was indeed a meeting was held with him. Now, what he was saying, it was not from the from the side of the government, that no government sent them there to go and do that. Of course, who uh, is he coming to tell us that you know, the government asked them to do that? No. And he's putting it you know, the, in this format that because the the late Funtua uh, was a, a media person as well, so they all gathered together with other people so that they will try to release him because it was not based on politics, it, uh, it was not on journalism or something stuff, but it was based on uh, politics, so they should not just link it to that, you know, at least it's uh, 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 testifying to the fact that that meeting was held, so whether this or that, but at the end of the day, the bottom line of the meeting was for his release to negotiate with him, they cannot just, if really they want to set him free, they needed to have gone to the people who, are, who were holding him, the presidency, and which uh, Gabashi was part of. So what kind of negotiation did they, uh, did they go go for? Let me put it that way. What kind of negotiation did they go for to tell him to do what? To stop the, uh, to stop the what? To stop the, the revolution or the protest of a thing. Of course, he, he can't just go and meet him because he was not the one that was supposed to have relieved himself. People who held him captive would have done that. He would have gone to meet them. If really you wanted to negotiate, but you cannot just go to him and say, okay, we want to release you. On based on what? He must agree to something before they can go back to the presidency or whosoever to plead on his behalf. And you see the way this man is saying that they said the uh, Shore is a rascal, that he has abused everybody. But he has abused everybody, but you are still abusing him, calling him a rascal. Who, who, who said 
who told you is a rascal? Where did they? Where was it pronounced uh, being a rascal? Because I don't know. Because these people, that is how they always make some things. You are, you are saying somebody has been abusing everybody, and you are abusing, abusing him too. Or he, he said somebody said, or those people said. Of course, those of my still come out and say, oh, they didn't say that, because now he's exposing a lot of things because he's trying to even implicate those people, because you already would not be looking at them. So you guys said, I'm a rascal. Is that what? You are saying, of course, he has really exposed them as well. But my concern now is that at least he was he has been able to explain or testify that really there was a meeting they had with him. Okay, he said Nduka uh, all agreed that Shiwore was a rascal who had used his newspaper to abuse all of us. <laughs> you know, one thing is that. Some people will still come out and say, oh, it was the same Shiwore that brought this government. It was the same Shiwore that used his uh, medium, uh, media platform to do this, to do this. Everybody is accusing him, left, right and center. The people that they said he brought in are still accusing him again that he has been abusing everybody, has been abusing all of them. Okay, according to Unduka Begbena, they all agreed that Shiwore was a rascal. And <laughs> These people are really funny. Of course, since they agreed, she already will be waiting for them. So you guys are calling me rascal based on what? Because somebody is saying the truth. You know, it's been a rascal. Then what is not happening in this government? What is happening? How, what do we what do we describe or how do we describe what is happening in this government? How what do we call what is happening in this government? You can imagine the lawmakers are saying no. You guys must that the president must do something, and if not, they are going to impeach him. And you are they are telling. The people that know you cannot do that it is not in your right so what happens to the people that their lives have been taken on a daily basis those who are losing their loved ones those who are victims of all of this uh, insecurity what do you have to do to them they will still come and say oh they are doing their best that you cannot compare what is happening now to what happened before they came in that what is happening now is just a child's play compared to what happened before that nigerians always have a short memory you know they just they, they just turn nigerians up and down but like i said He's been able to establish the fact that they went to meet with him. So if you went to meet, if you went to meet with him, so what did you really discuss? To so discuss that he should do what? Because something you can't just go to him. Because if you, if it was not meant for negotiation, you can't just go to him and begin to say we want to release you or you release yourself. We know all of those shenanigans the the, the presidency, the federal government played concerning this uh, Shores case. If not for the intervention of a. Uh, uh, some international communities. Um, honestly, Shawere would have still been languishing in 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 custody. Nothing would have happened. Now you guys are saying you had you have a case against him. Then what has happened? So does it mean maybe the court is so so busy that they can't even attend to you know a federal government's case with Shawere? And we tend to believe what uh, Falano said because they don't have any evidence. All of those things that they are putting together. They are not. They are nothing. They are not. They are not just facts because they've been able to throw them away, even in court, and they are just leaving it pending like that. That is the kind of country they want us to to continue to live. And don't be surprised. These same people that are working with the government are saying all manner of things. By the time they are out of the government, they will begin to speak like other statesmen. They will begin to speak with wisdom. They will begin to see things the way they ought to speak. But one thing, the same thing they will always accuse Nigerians that Nigerians always have a short memory because. At the end of the day, these same people will still come. Nigeria will still clap for them. Oh, this and this and that. Oh, they will begin to see reasons why they did those things they are doing now. Now, now they know that those things are not, you know, they are not doing the right thing. They are hurting the, 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 the minds of many Nigerians. But when that time comes again, Nigerians will still forget. Okay, Mabel Levan, he was doing his job. So, that being said, so the cocoa now is that is is agreed that yes they went to meet with him of course shiore will see he will still respond to them i i trust that he definitely he will re respond to them um as at when due a lot of people have been saying oh shiore why are you coming now to say uh all of those things now is it because uh, the man is dead when the man was alive why didn't you do this why didn't you say anything why didn't you talk it is not that you know you want to talk oh you are a coward go and sit down you brought this government so they, you, they would have they would have left you in a DSS custody for you to be there. You know, a lot of people don't even like him. But the thing that the guy is saying, the things that some genuine people have been complaining about in this country, the same people who are always abusing them, they are suffering it. They are suffering it. We are all suffering it. And that is the 
bad side of the whole thing. We are all suffering it. So, guys, let us hear your opinion concerning the uh, presidency uh, response to this. And if this man is saying uh, it was not the presidency that sent him, then why the presidency attacking him? Why is the pres presidency replying what he said? Leave your comments below, guys, and let's have your take.